In this video we're going to demonstrate the Inspira Times website. This website allows a user to explore historically significant events by scrolling through time either forward or backward. It's the events in history are shown on a timeline that you can see here and you can click on the links to the different events and it will pull up information regarding uh, that particular event or individual as well as some links to ebooks, wikis, audio clips, um, and products that can be purchased. Down here at the bottom you can see four different scales of time. The first or top one actually pertains to the actual timeline itself. The next one down pertains to the year and then the, f the one after that is the century and then millennia. On the timeline you can use the scroll button on the mouse or the scroll wheel on the mouse to zoom in or out. So if I wanted to zoom in for instance it'll, it takes me to a month by month view. Um, if I come over here for instance to the Constitutional Convention in 1787 I could zoom in further and it would take me to a larger uh, larger view of the months I could keep going and it would actually show it day by day. If I want to scroll through time I just click and drag the mouse. If I come down to the year scale and click and drag it will scroll at a much faster pace year by year as you can see here. Down here at the century when I can do the same thing by scrolling through the centuries it will allow me to scroll at a, a faster pace and the same is true for the millennium. So if I go back to the year, if I want to go back to the year 1787, I can scroll through using these scales. Alternatively, I can I can move through time using these arrows up here. To, if I click on the arrow here, it allows me to move one day to the right, and so it'll increment one day at a time forward. This one would move one day backward in time. The double arrow would allow me to move one month at a time. The triple arrow, one uh, year, and then century, and then, I'm sorry, to every 10 years, and then every uh, 100 years. So here, for instance, I moved up to 1900, and then to 2000, so on and so forth. Alternatively, I can go to a specific year by typing it in here, and then clicking go to the year. So let's say we want to go back to 1787 click go to that year and it would take me right back to the year 1787 on that time frame. You can see that it shows it day by day on the scale. If I want to zoom out a little bit, it will show me month by month and then I can go right back to the Constitutional Convention. I can also uh, limit the topics shown on the timeline by category here using this these category links. So for instance, if I wanted to go to the American War for Independence, I could click on that link and it would only show the events that pertain to the American War for Inde Independence. I could go to uh, Joseph Smith and Family or I can do the complete unabridged which will give me all of the topics. Let's say that we wanted to find out some information about um, Wilford Woodruff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the search all events and I'm going to type in Wilford Woodruff. I can search either by title or by year. In this case since it's Wilford Woodruff we'll do it by title. Click search all events and it'll bring up here in the search pane, search results pane, uh, three different links to Wilford Woodruff. I can click on any one of those links. In this case I'm going to go to the eminent spirits who appear to Wilford Woodruff and it takes me to that period of time in 1877. This ref refers to the uh, event when the spirits of the dead gathered around Wilford Woodruff appeared to him and requested their temple work to be done. I can click on this link and it will have links, it will have a description of what happened at that time as well as links to further information. So one of the things that I could do is click on the wiki link which would open up here in the search pane uh, references to all wiki entries related to the individuals who appeared to Wilford Woodruff. I can also click on a link to the maps 
which would take me um, to different links uh, that would take me to a different view on a map. Um, I can click on the products which would show me links to some of the things that could be purchased and then I could click on the audio which would uh, give me links to audio clips or audio books that pertain to the individuals that appeared to Wilford Woodruff. Now let's say that I wanted to learn more about the restoration of the church, specifically uh, the first general conference of the church. I could come over here, click on the restoration of the church link, and I would go, I'm going to zoom out, a uh, zoom in a little bit so that I can see uh, it uh, month by month. I'm going to go to the year 1830 and we'll go to the month of June and you can see here that the first conference of the church is shown. Now I could zoom in a little bit more on that to find out what month and day it was on. It looks like it was on June 8th of uh, 1830. I could click on this link and notice here that it gives me a, a brief description of what occurred at the first conference as well as two links one of which uh, are some ebooks and the other one refers to the Joseph Smith papers so for instance if I go to ebooks it will actually bring up in this case several uh, references that I can click on and it'll take me to those uh, books on the internet in this case the second link down is the history of the church which would take me to actual copy of uh, the history of the church that pertains to the first conference. I could also alternatively click on the Joseph Smith papers and it will take me to uh, some links that will allow me to go navigate through the Joseph Smith papers which are also on the internet. So for instance if we go back here to history of the church and click on it it'll open up a new uh, window that will take me to the history of the church that will allow me to explore what it has to say about the first general conference of the church. So that's the way the Inspirit Times website works.